Hi everyone, um, today I'm going to demonstrate um, how to create air hops using Airboxer. So the first thing you want to do on your Google Sheet is to start up the Airboxer add-on. So here we're just going to launch it. Um, and once it's started up, the first thing you want to do is to import your data. So you want to click import in the side panel and you want to click on the data source that you want to source your data from. So in this case, we're going to use HubSpot. Um, after that, you're going to see a table section, which kind of shows, you know, what data table you want to get your data from. And within each table, you can select the columns of data that you want to display in your final air hop. Um, in this case, we have name, create date, city. Um, we're not going to go too much into detail into exactly how the columns are selected, but you can just pick any column that you want. You're also given the option to filter the data that you do import. Um, for this example, we're not going to do it, but some examples that you could do would be like filtering your companies by name or by their create date. Um, Airboxer also gives the option to aggregate your data using summarize or group by, which we'll demonstrate in a later example. So in this case, we've, as you can see here, the data that we requested to be imported from HubSpot has now been displayed on the spreadsheet. Now suppose that you want to consistently and repeatedly um, import this data from your HubSpot account. Um, you don't have to reconfigure all the imports and the column selections that we did last time. Instead, you can save this as an air hop. In this case, we're just gonna give it a name based on company info and now we've saved it as an air hop. And next time that you want to import that same data, you can just create a new Google Sheet, like as shown here. Um, click air hops in your side panel, and then just run the air hop that we just created. In this case, um, the name is basic company info. So once you just click that, you're just gonna get all the information um, that you requested while making that air hop earlier. So it's just a one-click solution, and you don't have to reconfigure any of the queries or any of the column selections. Um, so now we're going to demonstrate um, an example of an error hop that's created using the summarize and group by ag aggregation functions. So in this case, we're going to import from HubSpot again. We're going to import company data and the same columns. Um, so suppose here we want to group the companies by their create date, so like when the companies were created, and we want to see for each date how many specific companies were created. Um, so in this case, we're going to group by their create date, and then we're going to summarize a count of the company IDs and as well as the name um, to show just kind of like the unique, the count of unique company IDs and names for each date. And what this does is that it aggregates the data that it imports from HubSpot before it actually displays it. So after this process is finished, the data has been aggregated and it's displayed over here. So as you can see, there's a create date and it shows you that three companies were created in that specific date according to your HubSpot company data. And you can also save this as an air hop just like we did earlier. Um, in this case, you could just give it another descriptive title, like companies by date. And if you ever wanted to retrieve that specific set of information in the future, you would just run the air hop um, after it's been saved into your account.